Hi, my name's Kim. I'm an introvert that travels the world whilst being on a tight budget. As someone who loves to travel, I'm always looking for easier, cheaper ways of getting places. Alternative modes of transport are available, but are often overshadowed by air travel. But in a world that's slowly switching on to the global impact of our carbon footprint, it's time to see if there are better ways of getting to our favourite holiday destinations. Today I'm going to London on a coach trip. Gifted by Jones International. Answering your questions on coach holidays. Are they worth it? Let's go! <laughs> It's now six o'clock in the morning and we're just round to Armand Foot to uh, catch the bus. We've arrived at the bus stop and that was a mega rush. Um, the car was iced up, which I didn't account for in time, so but we're here five minutes early. We're meant to be ten minutes early, but the point is we're here. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're for the bus now. Let's go around and then. Woo! 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 <laughs> and you sleep. One of the questions was, how long do coach trips take? Well, they only take as long as it takes to get to the place, plus a little bit extra to pick up people. And if you go with a good company, you're not going to end up going all around the country picking people up. The pickup should be reasonably local and shouldn't add that much time onto your journey. Another question we had, isn't flying just easier or faster? Well, if you take into consideration the average journey for a flight, so, for me, the closest airport is about an hour away, and then we've got two hours before the flight to get to the airport. Say the flight takes two hours to get where you want to go. You've then got to go through customs once you get there, and then you've got to try and find your bus or train to where you want to go. You get on the train, you've been lugging your luggage all this way, and then it turns out that the train station is still half an hour from where your hotel actually is. Whereas if you go by bus, you literally, we turned up to the bus station, which was 20 minutes away from the home. I gave him my luggage, it's gone underneath the bus. I won't see that now until later on this evening. He'll drop us off in the city centre, pick us back up and take us to the hotel. Everything's pre-booked, we don't have to worry about a thing. Another one of the questions was, would it be easier to just drive if the trip was in the UK? But the thing is, if you're happy to drive for hours without stopping and then have to find parking once you're there and then book your own accommodation and everything separate then yeah i guess it's easier if you think that's easier but if you go by coach everything's just booked you're ready to go no problems <laughs> One of the questions was, are coach holidays boring? 
Well, because this holiday is gifted by Jones, I, I'm going to be a little bit more specific to them. But Jones go to Amsterdam, they go to Disneyland, Legoland, Harry Potter Studios, and none of those places are boring to me. And honestly, places are only going to be boring if you're not going to make the effort to go and explore them. On coach holidays, you can go to places like here, and here, and here, and here, and here. And here, just picked up my suitcase. I haven't seen it since uh, six o'clock this morning and it's now 10 p.m. So two of the questions that uh, got put to me was, is coach trip food horrible? And the other one was, are the hotels horrible because I want to stay in luxury when I go away? Well, essentially you get what you pay for. If you're not going to pay loads of money, you're not going to get very nice accommodations. The same if you book anything separately. The, the, I guess the more you pay, the more you get. And the same is true with anything. If you want to go cheap, then don't be disappointed if your food's horrible and there's a funny stain on the bed. But the hotel that I'm staying here in London is beautiful. Let me show you around. in coach holidays. We'll see how good it is in the morning. which will set us up for a fantastic day of sightseeing and I hadn't I hadn't like there's parts of this video that I'd like pre-planned but this is part that I haven't planned do you know what I'm really shocked at how lovely the hotel is how nice the breakfast is like it is the hotel was amazing so nice the food was beautiful the view was from the uh, from where we had breakfast were amazing and like this is all on a coach strip you can't go wrong with it. You can't go wrong. to travel is walking or by bus but you can't walk everywhere so your next best choice would be by bus they are much better than flying and slightly better than train travel with the devastating wildfires going on in australia at the moment it's really put to the forefront the, the importance of living our lives sustainably we need to be more aware about how we travel and think of better ways that we can get from place to place without our impact on the environment being so great we need to be more sustainable with how we live our lives and how we travel too if you'd like to donate to the effort then link down below now and even though 
this was a gifted trip i am going to give you my honest opinion so i'm i'm not going to say something's good if it's not good all that said though i actually really enjoyed <laughs> I think that coach trips take out a lot of hassle of travelling. I've been to London from here quite a few times and it's it's quite a trip to get to London. And with Jones it was easy. What do you want? In regards to Jones International as a review, they are really good at dropping you off somewhere and then letting you find your own way back if you don't want to sort of join the party I guess. Um, we got dropped off in London. Decided we didn't want to stay in London, we were actually going to go do something in Brixton and that was fine, we could go do that, not a problem. So you don't have to stick with, I guess, where you're going if you don't want to. If, you, if you're going to make your own way somewhere, you go do that, no problem. But at the same time, they drop you off places that they think you'll enjoy so you can go visit loads of different places in London if that's what you're going to do. So you can literally do what you want and the hotel was amazing, the hotel was so beautiful. I think it's like one of the nicest hotels I've stayed in in Britain. It was so nice. In reg <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you hitting me in the face? So in regards to Jones, at least they don't they don't scrimp on uh, luxury. Like you're going, can you bum on my face? They don't scrimp on luxury. You're going to some really nice places, and the buses are really nice too. Going on coach trips is really good if you do end up travelling by yourself because they put you, at least with Jones anyway, by other single travellers around your age group, if there are any. So you can make friends whilst you're away. I... Kitty! Why'd you do this? What have you done? So, so if you are travelling alone, there's opportunity there to make friends and companionship and not be alone which is nice as well. You don't get that when you go on more sort of traditional airplane holidays, I guess. Um, the odds of you meeting someone on the airplane and you're going to the same place and you becoming friends is, I'm gonna say quite low to almost impossible. Even though I've said it was gifted, it is an affordable price as well. It, it's not a crazy amount of money and considering how nice the hotel was, I think it's very decent price. Um, I'll be putting a link in the description below for um, Jones's website so you can have a look there if you're interested if you live like quite local to me. I live in South Wales, um, Carmarthenshire. Um, they do pick up Carmarthenshire. Can you stop pressing the keyboard? They do pick up Carmarthenshire, Swansea, Neath the Talbot, you know, all along the M4 corridor. So you don't you don't have to necessarily live by me. You know, along the M4 corridor, they can probably pick you up. And uh, I'd recommend using them, I would. And I'd recommend coach trips as well. I think that they are worth the money because they save you time, they save you hassle. You can be lazy and have a good holiday. Last thing I'm going to mention about uh, coach travel is the environmental impact of it. It is better to travel by coach. Per person, the emissions are less than an aeroplane. So if you are sort of conscious of your carbon footprint of when you're travelling, then travelling by coach could be a really good choice for you. I know that there's been a lot of forest fires and last year we had the Amazon and earlier on this year we've had the Australian fires, a lot of fires happening in California and obviously that's really devastating and we can't keep on just throwing out carbon like the world can support it. So if we are going to continue to travel then we do need to think about better ways of travelling. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another link below which is going to be for you to donate to the um, Australian wildlife fires and even though they're not as prevalent in the news anymore it's still a really important thing that we need to, to help support. You know there's a lot of devastation that's happened there that they're now having to rebuild and um, yeah so if you've got any like spare pennies and you're wondering where to throw them, throw them to the charities for there. So this is the first in a series of three London videos that I've got coming out. They're going to be coming out once a fortnight with other little videos in between. 
Um, the next London video is going to be a collaboration with a fellow travel YouTuber called Ciao Valentina, which I'm really excited to show you. Um, so that will be out in two weeks. And I've got a load of other London videos that I filmed before, so I'll throw them on the screen down here. Um, but I hope you enjoyed. See you again. Enjoy your life. Ta-da!